even with this collision that the Royals would lose two all stars on one play. Alex Gordon breaks his wrist. We thought it was a bone contusion to the knee for Mike Moustakis but our University of Kansas Hospital injury report we found out yesterday a torn right ACL. And Moose I'm sure there's a hundred other things you'd rather do than talk about this but I'll bet a lot of Royals fans just want to know coming off the best season of your career in a World Series championship and before we get to 50 games you're done for the year how are you doing. Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, you know just a uh, little disappointed I can't be out there you know grinding it out with the boys. Uh, I think uh, I think that's the biggest thing you know. Uh, get down. <clears throat> I think that's the uh, the biggest thing is uh, you know going out there and uh, you know grinding out and playing uh, playing baseball with uh, with the boys. Did you have I mean you're an athlete you know your body. Did you have any idea we just we just you didn't get a chance to see it but after the collision we had a shot of you walking back to third base and kind of favoring that leg. Did you have any idea that it might be something serious. Uh, no I thought uh, I thought it was just from the uh, collision with Gordo. I thought uh, you know when he uh, he hit me and I hit him. I thought it was just uh, you know a little bruise in my knee and you know a couple of days and it, it go away but <clears throat> you know after uh, after a couple of days. I, uh, I tried to test it out and it didn't go so well. So uh, you know, Nick and KT thought it'd be a good idea to get an MRI and uh, ended up, you know, coming up uh, with a torn ACL. So uh, it's just kind of one of those things that happen in sports. You know, stuff you can't control. Uh, especially uh, this team. You know, we go out there, we play hard every pitch, and you know, uh, you know, sometimes uh, things like that uh, are going to happen. Moose, the second opinion. When does that happen? Um, you know, it's it's going on right now. I have. Uh, uh, an appointment with Dr. Andrews out uh, in Florida coming up here in a couple of days and uh, you know, we're going to see how that goes and you know we'll go from there. What what if what if he says I don't really see a significant tear does that change anything I mean what are the, what's going to happen Moose. Uh, that'd be that'd be some great news if uh, if that if that happened uh, I just uh, you know just trying to trying to hope for the best right now and uh, you know see uh, see what happens but uh, no it's not uh, it's not feeling good it's not a uh, not even 50 percent so it's a uh, <clears throat> it's going to be tough to uh, to come back this year for sure uh, I don't think that's going to happen uh, but uh, you know I got my goal set for uh, next spring training and uh, you know getting ready to go for next year in the meantime I get to watch these boys uh, you know do some awesome things on the baseball field. All right I remember June of 2011 when you made your big league debut in Anaheim and uh, now you're a veteran player an all star. You uh, see any kind of twinkle in Brett Eibner's eyes tonight as he's making his big league debut. Uh, yeah a little bit you know um, you know being being a major league player and having your debut it's a it's a, it's a special day. Um, you know I, I hardly remembered mine. Uh, everything happened so fast and uh, you know for him uh, you know it's, it's just a special day you know you realize your dreams are coming true uh, stepping out on a big league field for the first time but uh, you know he, he's a phenomenal baseball player great athlete and uh, you know we're going to expect some some big things from here uh, from him here in the future and uh, we all we all know he's uh, he's prepared and ready to do it. Moose but to be the D.H. In your <clears throat> debut that's like having four pinch hits. Yeah. I mean going up there I mean that's tough. Yeah that's definitely tough. Uh, you know for me I was able to go out there and play third and kind of forget about my at bats but uh, you know being, being the D.H. you got to sit there uh, you know for eight more hitters till you get another at bat and uh, you know he's 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 the kind of guy that's more than capable of, uh, of doing it. He's a phenomenal competitor and uh, you know he's uh, he, he's going to help this team out a lot uh, definitely in the uh, this year and in, in the future to come. Close but out and Gonzalez gets the Royals one two three in the bottom of the third. Well as much as you've been through in your career and as much as you've accomplished you're going to be like another coach in that dugout with all the young guys this year. Um, yeah yes and no you know our, our, our guys know exactly what uh, what to do you know we got a great group of young guys and uh, they're ready to go out there and perform and uh, you know my job right now is just to stay out of the way. All right well <laughs> thanks a lot for spending some time with us. No problem thanks, guys Luke. take care.